Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi! So today I wanted to talk about a new foundation that I got. So I'm going to be doing a review on the Westman Atelier foundation and it is the Westman Atelier Vital Skin Foundation Stick. I got two different shades of it because to be honest it was kind of hard to figure out what shade I was going to be. Um, they have a tool on their website as well as on Sephora's website that's like a shade finder. And when I used that, I got anywhere from Vital Skin Shade 1 all the way to Shade 5, which is a really wide range. And that was with entering different foundations that I already use, which are all relatively the same shade. So um, yeah, I was kind of like, this isn't working. <laughs> Even on Sephora's website, which usually is pretty good, it didn't match me. It matched me with like Shade 4 or 5 or something. And I was like, that's way too dark for me. But um, yeah, so I ended up going with shade one and shade three based off of the swatches on the website and on Sephora's website. Um, those ones seem to be the closest to what I normally use. And those shades are labeled as um, Atelier one, which is fair with yellow tones. Atelier three, which is light medium with golden undertones. So I picked those because obviously you can see I'm very red. I have, I usually use like a more yellow toned um, foundation to blend in with my skin because I'm not super red down here it's just my face and it's because I have eczema on my face which is super annoying as you can see a lot of it's right here um, I get it right here and then sometimes on my cheeks it's 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 been a thing for a long time <laughs> so anyways let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about this foundation so this foundation is very expensive it's $68 and you get let's see what does it say 0.31 ounces um, which is like a decent amount since it's a stick foundation a little bit goes a long way so you just kind of apply it where you want to and then blend it out um, so I feel like it'll last a long time even though it's expensive but the reason it's expensive is because it's more of like a luxury clean and cruelty free brand the reason I bought it on Sephora's website is because I had enough points to get like a decent amount of money off of it or even Nordstrom sells it so if you have Nordstrom notes that's a good way to get it for a less expensive price but it is really expensive so they have 21 different shades which is a pretty decent amount for a clean cruelty free range and the thing that I noticed about this is that they're very forgiving um like I could use either of the two shades that I have one of them's definitely the right shade and the other is definitely a little too dark but I could get away with using the darker shade or if I was the darker shade I could get away with using the lighter shade because they're very like close in range so it's not like I would be too far off. It's nice to see like a pretty decent range. So a little bit of info, it says a clean luxurious cream foundation and concealer stick rich in antioxidants and calming actives that combat redness, soothe, even out complexion and boost moisture. Buildable molten texture melts into skin for radiant natural finish, your skin effortlessly enhanced. There's no silicones, parabens, PEGs, talc, phthalates, synthetic fragrances, and it's vegan and cruelty free. So that's something that I noticed because I've been testing this foundation out for about a week now and it very much does what it says where it melts into the skin and it just looks like skin. So I'll go over that in a bit when I put it on. Some of the key ingredients are vegetable derived squalene to help prevent moisture loss and restore suppleness, phytosphingosine, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but it says it's skin soothing, calming, and antibacterial properties. There's Berry Flux Vita, which has hydration boosting and youth preserving properties. Camellia seed oil to protect skin from environmental pollutants, soothes and calms and smooths. Coconut oil to rejuvenate dehydrated skin, provides luxurious slip and blendability. Um, so if you are allergic to coconut products, I would stay away from this one. It actually reminds me a lot of the RMS Beauty Foundation in a stick form, which I love that foundation. And this is just like an easy to go stick version of it. So um, I think some of the ingredients might be similar as well, which makes sense that it reminds me of that because of the coconut oil slippiness. But yeah, that's it about it on the website. There's not a ton of information on it, which is fine. Um, but let me go ahead and show you the product. First of all, the outer packaging is really beautiful, just as the name of the brand, Westman Atelier, and the um, name of the product, which is the Vital Skin Foundation Stick. And then on the back, it says Consciously Crafted Beauty, and then it has Gucci Westman's um, signature on there, which is super cute. And also when you open up the packaging, it has like this super cute little Gucci Westman heart. I think that's adorable. So like I said, I got two shades, Atelier 1 and Atelier 3. Here's what the packaging looks like. It's really beautiful and it's very heavy. 
it's just like a really nice solid tube um, on the bottom it says the name of it and then it has like a magnetic cap which is really nice so it's not gonna just like pop off and then inside the cap it says um westman atelier and then this is what it looks like so you just kind of spin it up from the top which i on some of the other stick foundations you go from the bottom but it's really nice as you can see i've been using it but this is shade atelier one it's definitely on the golden side this one right here is atelier three so this is one and this is three. So as you see, it's not a ton darker. It's relatively the same. So I could get away with using either of them. So let me go ahead and show you what they both look like. So this is Atelier one and that's Atelier three. So they're not really that far off. Like I can definitely get away with using either. Let me go ahead and apply it how I normally would. So first I'm just gonna apply it on one side of my face so that you guys can see how it looks and how it corrects redness. Um, so I just apply it like that as a stick. Normally I would do it, you know, all over. And then I just use a damp beauty blender. You can use a brush. They have like really nice looking brushes that are also very pricey. Um, but I just like using a beauty blender. To me, it works better for my skin because my skin is really dry from eczema. I like to just replenish the moisture with a beauty blender. But the thing that I really like about it is how blendable it is. It's just like, like it says, it just melts it into your skin and it looks so beautiful. Okay, so then there's one side of my face done. As you can see, it just kind of evens out the tone. Um, and it's not super full coverage, like as you can see my little zit right here is still there. But as you can see it takes away the redness from like my eczema, and it just kind of evens the tone all the way. And I really like that. So, um, hold on a second, let me go ahead and apply the other half, and then I will be right back. Okay, I had to take a little puppy break and we are back. So um, yeah, so this is what the foundation looks like on a full face. It looks really nice. It just looks like my skin. I mean, it's medium coverage, like I said. You can still see a little bit of redness, which I don't mind because it's kind of like a natural blush and it just makes my skin look natural. I don't personally like that full coverage look anyways, so to me this is like a really good coverage because you can build it up and it doesn't look cakey um, like some stick foundations do, but I think my skin just looks really nice. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put a little concealer on. I'm just going to use this Glossier um, Stretch Concealer. It's okay. Um, and I'm just going to put this in my under eye area. Um, one of the things that Gucci Westman says is that you can use a lighter shade of this foundation as a concealer for under eyes. Um, since the shade that I have is already like a really light one, I don't think I'm going to pick up one because I have other concealers. I'm not interested in really using this as a concealer, more so as a foundation. Um, but I really like the way that it looks. So then that's the way it looks with a little bit of concealer on. And then I'm gonna put some powder on, but before I do, I just kinda wanted to compare it to the Merit Foundation. So this is the Merit Foundation, and this is $38. And on this, you get 0.13 ounces, and this you get 0.31 ounces. So you get quite a bit more. Um, mine, unfortunately, is broken. I'm waiting for a new one to come in because they offered to replace it. But 
as you can see, it's definitely a lot bigger of a product that you get, which is really nice. Um, so technically, even though this is more expensive, it ends up being cheaper than the Merit one for how much you get. And in the Merit foundation, I'm shade Linen. So to compare that to shade 1, it's pretty similar. I also wanted to compare it to the feeling of the Merit foundation because I've used the Merit one for quite a while now. The thing about the Merit one is it's very dry for a cream product. So when you apply it on your face, you really need to have a good amount of moisture on your face. Otherwise, it picks up every single dry spot, which isn't the prettiest, you know. Merit foundation seems to be good on if your skin's already perfect. Like if you don't have any blemishes, if you don't have any dry patches, it covers redness really well. But other than redness, I feel like if you have any texture on your skin, it shows. Whereas this Westman Atelier foundation, it's very similar to the RMS Beauty foundation and it just kind of melts into your skin and it looks really nice either way. Whether you have a little bit of like acne or dryness, like it just seems to kind of, um, I don't know, it, it, it perfects without over perfecting, but it doesn't leave your skin looking strange if that makes any sense so yeah i really like the way that this foundation looks and feels but yeah i really like the way that it looks so let me go ahead and powder it that way i can show you guys how it looks with powder on just using the rms beauty powder um the tinted one in shade 01 i've heard rumors that westman atelier is going to be coming out with a powder i haven't seen anything yet but i would be interested to try out that powder after testing this foundation. So um, I like to just take a big fluffy brush and just press the powder into my skin. I feel like it works a lot nicer that way. And then I always go under the eyes. So then this is how it looks with a little bit of the RMS Tinted Unpowder on. It just mattifies it down a little bit, but it doesn't take away any of the like glowiness. So your skin still looks like skin, it still looks really fresh and hydrated. And I really like that look. So um, yeah, I really enjoyed this foundation. So since I've been wearing it for about a week now, I have noticed that it is really long wearing. Um, so I'll wear it, you know, all day while I'm at work. Even though it's still been like 90 degrees and it's fall, um, if I'm hot or sweaty and I have a mask on, it still stays on, like it doesn't come off, which is really nice. Um, I'm sure that has to do with the application as well as setting it, um, but I haven't noticed any like crazy wear while it's on, like it's not rubbing off or anything. So um, I really enjoy this. It feels nice. I have noticed I have a few little acne spots on my face recently, but I don't believe that that's from the foundation. I think that's just from like my skin being a little bit weird right now. So I will say if you have acne prone skin, um, test this out in like a patch spot first to make sure that you don't break out because a lot of times people break out from coconut oil, um, which I've always heard is because the coconut is like pulling like gunk out of your skin. So it causes acne because it's pulling stuff from your skin. It's like detoxing your skin. But then other people say that it's because it's comedogenic. So I don't know. Um, to me, it always seemed like it was just that it was pulling out stuff and then once my skin got used to it, that never happened again. So give that a test on your own. If it works, then that's amazing. I personally don't mind if foundations have coconut oil because my skin, it's not bothered by it. It always seems to really like it. So um, yeah, I would test it out definitely. So I would say if you are looking for a new foundation and you're willing to spend money, or if you have like Sephora points or Nordstrom notes to use for coupons, definitely give this foundation a try. Um, I really like the way it looks. It also kind of reminds me look wise as the cure weiss cream foundation but that one was also a little bit more on the dry side so you definitely had to have like a really moisturized face but this westman atelier one is super super creamy so you don't necessarily have to have as much 
moisture on your face although it does help to keep things smooth and blendable so yeah that's pretty much it I really enjoyed this foundation and I can't wait to use it. I do have another foundation that I'm going to be testing out pretty soon that just came out from Beauty Blender that looks really awesome. So that'll be out pretty soon. But yeah, I've just been kind of on the hunt for a new foundation. I loved my old one, but I just, I don't agree with the brand anymore. So I'm just kind of on the hunt for something that's just as good. So we'll see what happens. But so far, I'm really liking this foundation. The price is a little crazy, but the foundation is really nice. So we'll see. It has definitely made me interested in trying other Westman Atelier products. One of my friends on here, Jen from Aloha Jen's Beauty Vlog, she has a bunch of videos on the Westman products because she is like also a big fan of them. Um, so she's used like the foundations, the blushes, the lip products, the things she tried the mascara but didn't really care for it. Um, but yeah, like while I've been looking at the Westman products, like they all look really nice. So maybe I'll have to pick some of those up. Although I don't know, I feel like I have so many similar products like cream blushes, cream, this cream, that, like, I feel like I have a lot of similar products. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I try anything. But for now, I really am enjoying this foundation. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button because I would love to have you join me on my channel here. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, and a wonderful week, and I will see you in the next video.